Coming up next, a UFC welterweight division matchup. You ready? You ready? Round one is upon us between two of the best fighters in this division. Hard to find anything resembling a glaring weakness on either side when you break down the There are no weaknesses in these guys. These guys are as well-rounded as they come. They both can wrestle, both can grapple, both can strike. They can do it all. And these are the matchups that we dream of as MMA fans. Ooh, big shot land. Really using his reach advantage there as he lands the punch, DC. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Archer, there's the early takedown. Pretty evident, DC, that he wants to get this fight to the ground, and he was certainly able to do so there. He felt like he had a massive advantage in the wrestling, and if he attempted takedowns, he would secure him. Let's see what he does from this position. All right, well, he continues to manhandle him here on the ground. Now maybe trying to get to a choke position here, DC. Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. He's putting him in exactly the position he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. Under three minutes remain in round one. Keeping busy here off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. Oh, trying to pass here, but Dikembe Mutombo style, Block. he gets denied. Block! Great job blocking that pass by the bottom fighter. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. And he caught the kick. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Nice one, two there. Over and over, he landed a big body kick. Oh, that was a big takedown. Is this the one that's gonna break him? All right, so he's sort of turtled up here. Not great body language. Perhaps he's trying to bait him in a little bit. Under a minute now to go. All right, 45 seconds now to go of the round. Looks like he's trying for submission now. You gotta be careful, Armbar. Continuing to try to manipulate the head here. It's in there deep. There you go. Oh, and there's the horn at the end of the round. So the fighter was really caught in the submission there just as the horn sounded. Safe to say he was saved by the bell there. So back to the stools they go. 60 seconds to to the body, not a lot of real estate there, but he found it. Big kick lands. Oh, nice straight punch there. Must be nice to have a reach advantage like this, DC. Oh, and he caught the kick. Wow! And just like that, the fight is over. Oh! Oh, my goodness, what a fight. I'm not sure if that's the way he drew it up, but a huge result for him here tonight as he gets the win by way of knockout, and that's about as good a one-strike finish as we've seen here in the UFC in recent memory. I'm not even sure the opponent saw it coming, so a big, big win for him here tonight. All right, we'll take a look back at the highlights. You know we're gonna find that nasty head kick somewhere in this highlight grip. Just an incredible result for him here tonight. A very nice head kick to finish the fight, but don't ignore all the work he did with his hands and give credit to the opponent. The opponent was in there every step of the way. And in order to get a fight of the night like you got tonight, both guys have to be willing to participate.
Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has called a stop to this contest at 45 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout, Shogun Nolan Rokhada. So the celebration is on with him and his team, and rightfully so. A monumental result tonight as he gets the win by knockout. He's 